Hey everybody, Durag back at it again with another Easy Company event. Now, originally I wasn't going to do a video because I was only supposed to be the co-commentator while another content creator took the helm, but there was a problem. Due to an unforeseen or unforeseen uh, issue, I am unable to fly cam. So, I am going to be playing as a ground soldier and I just need a squad to be attached to. So. I had to take up the helm and stream on Twitch, so if I sound tired, that's because I am. <laughs> I really wasn't ready to commentate, but at least they gave me a co-commentator that knew what was actually going on. And when the video starts, he's gonna take it away. Hope you guys enjoy. So obviously, I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, they kind of just dropped me in here. You want to fill me in on what the hell's going on? Like, yes. Yeah, so this uh, this event's gonna be the defense of Vagel. Uh, it's based on the events that happened on September twenty second, nineteen forty four, and uh, we have a couple researchers, Fine including myself, and um, we have uh, pinpointed the locations where the German right, infantry was attacking from. All right, guys. I'm gonna uh, leave my Discord for you guys. Okay. Bye. See you there. Have See fun. Man. Have fun. And uh, basically, what this what we're seeing right now, this big long road, is what back in the day was called Hell's Highway. And yeah, we're basically gonna have two places where the Germans are gonna attack. We're gonna have the southwest, and uh, I believe it's the southeast. And they're gonna try to cut off the those parts of the Hell's Highway to so to cut off reinforcements from the airborne divisions holding up in here. And their one's mission is to hold that vehicle and the bridges at all costs. Uh, as you, I don't know how much you know about Operation Market Garden, but uh, they were jumping behind enemy lines to secure bridges so they could uh, take their tanks, in this case the XX Corps, all the way up north uh, towards Nijmegen, and eventually east uh, going into Germany. Yeah, so I know that real life. Um... Market Garden was a complete failure. Uh, yeah, like I said, Operation Market Garden overall was a failure. But uh, this battle right here, without uh, giving too many spoilers because history has already happened, I'm, uh, I'm the getting Americans the were able to defend. The USA are joining now. Right, get to the front, boys. Go get them, men. Go get them. <laughs> Go get him, boys. Our former broadcaster, Freedom is Caesar, way, yes. turn into food soldier. Caesar, you traitor. Seems like you got four viewers. Welcome, everybody, that's watching Durag's stream. We are talking about EC Company's event, Vagel's defense. If you have any questions in the chat, any historical questions, Got please this. don't be shy. Basic, you're a boomer. Your mom's like a boomer. Yeah, look at, this, look at this beautiful line of defense here in the open field. This is like freaking World War I trenches. Like, holy <laughs> cow. Right, that's no man's land right there. And th that's the way it was uh, in the real battle. The... The outskirts of Vagel were very, very open, as you can see here, as the devs have done a wonderful job at reproducing. So, the Wait. approach to Vagel was very, very hard. You're talking, you said devs? Devs are in uh, this? I mean, I mean, no, I mean like the developers that, you know, made this map have made sure that, like, it's historically accurate. Uh, I, you, I think, you probably know, in Postscriptum, they took the battle maps and that's how they lined out their own maps that they made in the game so i was just pointing out to the accuracy of the open field around bagel oh but i don't i don't think we have any developers in this event this time around i i think we might have had one last event i believe i uh, might be wrong but i think Ratface might have been around i'm not sure it looks like field dezoid tezoid he says he has a question but it doesn't look like he's answered uh, asked it yet so i don't know uh, oh yeah field dezoid that. uh go ahead Question. Uh, while he's doing that, I'm gonna keep moving. So yeah, again, the last event. I really hope that the Germans are more effective with their tanks because the last time that I was here, um, they just literally sat there. They got fucking annihilated. 
Yeah, have I wasn't to... I wasn't involved in the last event planning it wise. So um, from what I know, it's just uh, the thing about that event. It was supposed to the fun about it was the unplanned events that were happening as they happen in the battle, because you know it's uh, in a real life battle you get intel that's not all the way correct or uh, stuff changes during the course of battle. So I think that's the chaotic sense that they were trying to relay for the last event. No, 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 no. It's not that. It's just. Um... Well, like I said earlier, uh, as soon as they would get, you know, pegged once, they, they just, they don't decide to move, you know? They just sta stand there like, oh, where'd that come from? Oh, God. Oh, right, dude. that's that, that's odd. Yeah, I don't know who was in the tank division. Um, now, Phil Dezoid, I don't know what language you're speaking, man. I can speak Spanish and English, but... Uh, I, I think he's I think he's trying to say, have your family okay... To... What the hell? To... To... <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to say there. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, English, please. English isn't my first language, but maybe if it was, I probably still wouldn't speak it because fuck you. Ooh, got him. I got an idea. So, uh, how, how do you feel about this battle so far? Pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, I, I think the Germans going to have a hard time getting through here. Yeah. I mean, this whole front right here it seems pretty, pretty heavily defended. I think your only weakness, yeah. I think your only weakness is uh, your backside, but that's one hell of a flank. Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly just worried that the server is going to be able to hold, handle all this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's handled all this stuff before. True, but this is more than we've ever done. This so. man that you're talking right here, Kenny, he's responsible for most of the planning for the event. So give him my best regards. Mr. Pro says. Uh, Best regards. All right, tell him. Fuck you. Got him. <laughs> Can't he as lovely as always. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! It's either. Well, well, well. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Yeah, hey, exactly. I was like, Durag, if you can hear me, I need you now. Pray. I'm praying to you, Durag. Middle, oh, mal <laughs> mag magnificent one. That's the word I'm looking for. I was gonna say malignant, but you're not malignant. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're you're magnificent. I look up and I see the sun, sun softly glowing across the sky, in the oh, yeah. clouds, being clouds and things. Hmm. Mm. Well, see you Hey, Ethel. Oh, yep. What are you doing? I'm manning the MG. Yeah, see, it does seem like Where Ops is uh, pretty well spread out for these defenses right here. I'm here. I'm, I'm neither here nor there. Oh, is that an eye in the sky I'm talking to? Possibly. Alright. What are your thoughts on the battle here? Uh, that we're gonna have a well until we contact, and I'm just sitting here waiting. I know, right? The anticipation is literally well, killing you. <laughs> yeah. Well, you would know if we had a flanking element coming from our south or something. Of course, I would know, but it would be cheating if I decided to tell you. It would be awkward as hell, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, good luck. Thanks. See, that is the beautiful thing about this, is that, like, you and me now know where the Germans are coming from and what the objectives are. These people just got thrown into this battle and they're just telling them to, you know, they're just first following orders. You got first shots over to the north. Yep, we got a bunch of Germans moving in. Oh, we got one running in. Oh, and it flipped. That's not good. Oh. Curious to see what he's shooting at. Uh, and here we see the German infantry finally getting out and uh, pushing. Wow, who's the driver here? I believe he got his uh, license in Poland, maybe. So yeah, we, we see why 
why the German attempt failed oh, right here. Oh, I'm pretty sure that, he... That is historically accurate as well. <laughs> yeah, so we got a bunch of Germans coming in from the... I'm not, I'm not sure where the... The Welcome southwest. The Welcome, Shrapnels. Alright, so let's take a look at the German team. Yeah, they're they're gonna run into a world of hurt. Yeah, these guys are pretty screwed. Yes, as I was explaining earlier, for those that weren't here, the perimeter around Vagel was a very, very open clear, and it was basically a no man's land, as you can see. So the Germans have had a really hard tr time approaching, as you can see right now. Somebody got dropped from this transport truck. Oh my God, it's a total carnage. Uh, it's not even worth the freaking trudge to get across. No, no, they, uh, these people are screwed, sorry to say, but uh, this is not a good approach. As you can see, they got heavy MG fire coming in. Uh, they got plenty of defenses to repel this small attack. Alright, so it looks like we got a vehicle coming in over to the, what is the southwest? Uh, it looks like it's a half track and they're getting shot at. I believe the 7 cap is coming. Everybody knows the 7 cab, they have a very popular server and a postscriptum as well. Only competing to EC Company server. Yep, so the 7 cab, uh, another version of the 7 cab is just getting annihilated. Like, so far the attempts of trying to come in from the I don't, south... I don't understand why they're unloading so far away. Maybe, I guess they want to scope the terrain. Like I said, these people don't have the same intel you and me do, do right? So they're trying to do the best they can with what they got. They don't know what defenses are built in town at all. So they are walking into a world of hurt. Yeah, they're basically losing all the vehicles that they have. Let's go take a look at the front line right there. They're just firing on a fuck ton of enemies. I'd say that they need some tank support, but they don't know where the ATs are. I'm not sure what they're shooting at. Uh, these guys are shooting at something. Got a couple of Germans that are out there in the field by themselves. Yeah, you see all those tracers, they're gonna have a hard time. But it would also help them locate where the MGs are. Um, they can get command on the radio, maybe drop some artillery on these defenses, which uh, it's gonna be the best option there for them to get to this. Because like you saw, there's sandbag logs all around these lines, there's MGs all around these lines. There's they're American with binoculars, they're gonna shift their fire, it's gonna be a very, very hard approach. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd try to get as many vehicles out as possible, just like... Because if you leave them out in the field, you're gonna lose a lot of tra transportation there. See, we got some Germans that are we'll still out there in the field, poor yeah. bastards. See, they're trying to get out, but they're under heavy fire, heavy fire. You have to remember the suppression in this game. It's actually a very nice feature. It moves you right... Oh, shit, we got an airstrike coming in on the American line here. That is what it was needed, and hopefully it'll make a difference so the Germans can get in. I don't think that did much. Uh, yeah, I don't think it did much. I don't see any dead Americans. Uh, it was a valiant effort, but everybody seems to be retreating. Is that all yeah. it was? Just a strafe run? Yeah, it was just a strafe run. Yeah, we got a bunch of dead Germans out there in the field. Uh, according to the map, it looks like everybody's just backing off of that position. Uh, now we see one of the EC squads is on the German. We have one of the EC company squads on the American and one on the German. Well, we're gonna see if which one's the better squad. One of them is led by Captain Mansi, recently promoted. And the other one's led by Colonel Michael Psycho 13, our fearless leader. I got that fisheye going on, huh? There we go. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Now 
let me check my notes here real quick, see if I can provide some historical facts while our good friends are watching. Welcome everybody to the stream if you're new. Yeah, it seems like the Germans have backed off because all the fire has seemed to stop. Kenny, what's your thoughts on this first engagement? Well, it went pretty good for us. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. That's... Yeah, looks like they're trying to group now. Alright, good luck. Yeah. We got a couple of we got a couple of Germans that are moving up on this road right here, but I don't think they're gonna do much. Um I mean they could, if they're really good, but Check to see what's going on over here. Um, whenever you get a chance, can you see the minimap? See if we have any enemy, I mean enemy, German tanks on the move. Yeah, we got tanks actually coming in from the south side. South east? Southeast with a bunch of enemies. With a right bunch here. of infantry. There actually doesn't seem to be too many Americans on this side. Um, yeah, there's only maybe like two or three. I mean, it might be enough to hold out the infantry, but if the tanks come in... Oh, what's that? What's going on over there? What the hell? Two tanks are like ramming into each other. What the hell's going on? Uh, I'm a little delayed in your stream, so gotta wait. That's that was weird. they like smacked into each other. Oh, I see what you're saying. Now. All right, yeah. As you can see, those are Panther fives. So that is what was used in the actual battle. So. Pretty cool. Alright, so we actually have a German force coming in, but that's still pretty out in the open there. Uh, I think that this is what they need. They need uh, commander support, and then they need the tank support. So if they are able to work together, they might be able to secure some points or destroy an FOB at least. Yep. Uh, we have a good line of Germans here. Um, if they could make it to the forest that they have in front of them, they'd have a chance. But yeah, it's a very long run. Yeah, I don't think they actually have a lot of Americans that are right here watching this line. No, it seems we only have three, but uh, three might be enough with this guy, Americans. These guys in the house right here, they might see him. Yep, they see him. They see him. They see the Germans. How much as they get picked off? God damn. They didn't deserve that. Right, let's see, we got Germans that are actually flanking, doing that big flank over there. We got two Panthers that are getting molly -whopped. Let's see. Oh my god, this poor squad here. Oh! Did we just lose the AT? Uh, no, that's still standing. Uh, we just lost All some right, defenses. Now, now now we see the Panthers finally bombarding the defenses. As you can see here next to the windmill. I guess I'm a little behind you, but yeah, this is brilliant. Let's see, did they actually take out the AT? I can't tell. Uh, uh, nice to see it oh, I think uh, Pazuka just hit the or something. Oh, he's One of the tanks is pretty low on health, so it seems like it's gotten hit a few times. Yeah, I think he's backing off. Yeah, no, that AT gun's still functional. That is a beautiful placement for an AT gun. Oh, one tank down. Oh. The tank is pretty screwed. Yeah, these Germans that tried to come up here, all dead. Actually, it looks like we have some Germans that are making it up to the wall over there. Yep, they made it to some of the houses over here. Well, for, you know, for what it counts, these uh, Panthers are at least a distraction, so some of the German infantry can push, get closer, but they still have a very strong defense. They have bunkers, they have sandbag logs, they have plenty of manpower. It's not looking good for the Germans, Durek. It's not looking good. Of course not. <clears throat> I mean, their intelligence is pretty low, so they're not even sure what they're going up against. So Right, right. That is one of the 
very good points. They don't know what to expect. They didn't. They knew there was going to be a defense, but they didn't know where it was going to be. They didn't know how strong it was going to be. They don't know where the AT guns are going to be. And so it looks like we had like a bit of a force that was coming up on the north. Which way is this north? On the north side. Yes, uh, oh. you're going northeast oh. right now. Oh shit! What did I do? I think I accidentally turned on motion blur. How did I do that? What did I press? Uh oh. Six or something? Six. And I'll try anything from one to zero are commands to. Uh, crap. How do I do this? Shoot. I didn't mean to turn. Oh, F. Okay, it was F. F? Oh, sorry. Oh, I think I saw the other Panther get killed uh, over there on the southwest. Oh, yeah. So that means no armor support. For the Germans, uh, I told you this historical fact earlier, I'll tell it again. Whenever the German division tried to push into Vagel with 36 Panther 5s, they lost 19 of those before they retreated. 19. God damn. Yeah, the Germans and are just getting annihilated from every side. Unless they actually do like a major front flank and come in from the other side. Um, there's not gonna be too much hope going on. No, it, uh, yes, the Americans have a defense, a very strong defense, as they did back in real life. Um, how many tanks did they get? Is that it? I believe they should be able to respawn again. Because, uh, 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 Oh my god, they're shooting at their freaking spawn. That's not fair. <laughs> well, we got some Germans moving up on the road. Uh, I don't think that's gonna do much. Oh, that guy got... Oh, no. Just missed him. Just missed him. Oh, yep. There he goes. Let's see. Any more Germans? It looks like there's a bunch of people getting hurt up here in the north. Uh, but it doesn't seem like there's any Germans that are alive over there. Okay, let's look at the map here. Okay, yeah, I don't see any Germans. I'm pretty sure they were wiped out. They might be organizing a new attack, if they're smart. More than likely. Yeah, I don't see any even in the map right now. God damn. That first attempt, I think it's safe to say, it was an epic failure. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to think, because that's one big-ass defense. Like, you're not going to get through that. You'd have to go around to where that one bridge was that's not even being defended. The one that's like way the hell over there. Alright. That's actually looking like what they might do. Cause yeah, I that's, um, their intel might change. Uh, in game, you, your commander will have intel for you that you're not expecting and that might change where they're gonna come from. Um, as you can see, I was telling you earlier about the Jack Panthers that uh, got close enough to Vagel to bombard Vagel, but didn't actually get into Vagel. And I believe they're getting set up on the west side. If you look at the minimap, I think you'll be able to see them. Uh, and, uh, I think maybe I think the Americans. I think the Americans are getting whiffed if they might be coming from a different direction. They're re they're readjusting to All where right, the bridge I is. See them. Very good, I see them. Yes, as I said, in-game the commander is always going to be given updates that were unexpected. So, as it was in real life, you know, battles chaotic. So, things change, and so they do here.
And as you see, all the Americans are shifting their fire in a different direction. Yeah, this is like a mass freaking exodus over here. Yes. The, um, I don't the, think anybody's getting left behind. Just a historical uh, fact, the uh, push that we saw on the south side was uh, led by uh, Count Rufe Walther. He was the one in charge of the 107th Panzer Brigade that uh, just tried the attack from the south. Uh, now we're going to see the Jack Panthers get involved in the game from the west side. And we're going to see if they can take the bridge and secure the bridges. Yeah, we got a bunch of German commotion going on over in the uh, southwest. As you can tell by the tanks that are moving. Right, right. Uh, we do have to remember um, there are a couple AT emplacements on the bridges. So, and they're pretty well hidden. I helped them put there myself, and uh, Buffon Nittles, who's in the chat, he, he organized a lot of this defense as well. Hello uh, to you. It's and uh, those will be a little spicy. They're going to be hard for the Germans to spot, and they're located in a very well, very good spot to hunt armor. So we'll see if these Jack Panthers actually get through or... Um, what happens you know one thing that's um that's actually in the germans favor is that the americans aren't spread out anymore now they're in a cl cluster so if they decide to drop bombs they're gonna hit a lot more americans than they would on that line indeed indeed and i believe uh, if i'm not mistaken major dick one of the ec members is uh the german commander i could be wrong for that but they were talking about how the only option or one of the very good options for the germans would be to have a massive uh, artillery strike on vagel as uh, as it happened in real life in real life they also got bombarded by artillery plenty of artillery in vagel but uh it was the 501st that was able to repel that attack so i'm trying to think what are those americans doing major, there? major is commander right buffoon yes buffoon just confirmed in the chat that major dick is commander indeed so he is uh, one of our solid players he knows a lot about this game so he he will know where to drop him and to help out his team so I'm guessing that this jeep squad is headed over to the bridge that's over there. Oh, I think you see he, this little pit over here on the left. I think you just passed it. That's the pit, the mortar pit I was telling you about. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, so, yeah, it was whenever you were looking at the jeeps. I'm a little delayed on you, but... Uh, Once I was looking at the jeeps? Yeah, but it's okay. We'll see it later, surely. Uh, let's see. I'm not... Sure, I see it. It's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be. It's gonna be hard to coordinate, being that uh, I'm watching a delayed stream. It's all right. All right. So it's it looked like it looked like one squad started going over to that bridge area. Like I wonder if they're gonna do anything. Is that Germans over there? Oh no! I'm sorry, where at? Oh, it's just a hay squad. A hay haystacks. Well, yep. We got a massive German. Massive Germans coming over to this one side, and only about a four Americans that are just screwing around over here. Well, this might be where the defense falls, then. Man, if only they knew what was coming. Uh, in the actual battle, they uh, the Allies counted with uh, Shermans and 75 millimeters and bazookas. I mean, that would and be... they they weren't able to get through the bridges. The Germans weren't able to get through the bridges. We'll see if they can change history here. But uh, once they lost a few of their tanks, they just backed off, and the Jack the Jack Panthers just bombarded Vegas as, as much as they could. Oh fuck, dude, that's 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 a lot of them. Um. Oh, actually, there's a, there's. I don't know if they're gonna go over that bridge that's to the south, the road bridge. You see something? Hmm. That's an odd placement for the... I mean, I would have put this, like, facing towards the bridge. Maybe, like, right here. But... It's whatever, bro. Well, I think this, uh... This MG has, uh... 
they can cover a wide range uh, and they can cover the bridge I don't think they will be trying a full band side charge on the bridge you know yeah. <laughs> if it was, if I was squad lead I probably split my squad in two and have one squad make sure everyone who's on the defense be suppressed and then maybe have half of my men push uh, see how that would fare but uh, we'll see we'll see what their approach is We got one German guy just standing here. Um, oh, it's his full squad, actually. How come I can't see his squad? Interesting. Wonder what they're planning. If only I could hear what they're saying. Um, I can't tell their names on it. Uh, do you know who they are? Duh. Uh, there's WF. WF is actually a pretty good squad. Um, in the last match, they were actually killing it, like literally. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, what does it stand for? WF. I don't know. Listen, there's a lot of there's a lot of clans in this, and I don't know who all of them are. Right, right. We have actually been getting pretty popular with these events. Um, Clans seem to have a lot of fun in it, and we have a lot of them who try to get in our events, and sadly we can't get them all in every event, uh, we try to be fair about that, uh, it's a lot of first come first serve in that sense, but uh, yeah. we are doing another this event again on the 9th, um, just for everyone that couldn't get in. Now this defense that's down to the south is actually looking a lot better than the one that's up to the north, but it looks as if... Uh, they just got more reinforcements up to the north. Um, yeah, see, but we, we do have an AT gun here, trusty AT gun. That's uh, very well hidden. I'm very, much, I'm a very big fan of uh, where that AT gun is hidden. I think it covers uh, a very wide range, and I think between those two AT guns, they have uh, quite the coverage on both the bridges. I'm trying to think. Let's see. Well, that's a really nice. That's a really nice view of the bridge right there. And if he looks to the right, he has just enough to look through. Uh, like so, the bridge area or the right. sorry to interrupt I was just my uh, my EC members and the EC on the chat they're saying that WF stands for West Front it's a German based community oh okay cool <laughs> so it's a German based community playing Germans I mean uh, you don't get better well, role playing well, than that well I mean I figured they were Germans because I, I remember the last one when they were taking that bridge um, if we could hear their comms, they would actually be speaking in German. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I saw them. I saw them speaking in German uh, when they were playing as the British. But I was like, "What the hell?" <laughs> <laughs> um, I have before went to the, like I think before EC. If I would be, if I was oh. EC, I would go to the British server just to play with the British people in the British faction. It'd be quite the immersion. What's that? Oh shit. Are we getting action? Yeah, they are launching off a bunch of uh, mortar strikes over on the American side of the bridge here. And I can't tell if anybody's been hit or not. Uh, oh, I don't know what that was, but it went flying. Didn't hit the AT gun. We got a couple of Americans that are down. Maybe just one guy. Uh, these strikes have not been very accurate. So what's happening right now, just a historical um, fact. Um, after Camp Gruppe Walther was repelled around uh, 2 p.m., uh, Camp Gruppe, which I don't know if I'm saying this right, Camp Gruppe, Huber's tanks, which are the ones that we're seeing on the west side, they and their artillery began to open up fire on the bridge uh, over the Willems Canal at Vagel. So that's what should be happening now. They should be bombarding their defenses with the hope that they can thin out the herds a bit before making a push. What oh, was that? A tank that's getting? What is that? Oh, that was a good shot right there. So we got a bunch of German forces that are moving into this tiny building. Um, I don't know what the reason of coming that way for though is, because I don't think they could get across, can they? Uh, the reason to come on that way is because it was historically accurate, basically. Oh. That's, 
it's not tactical, it's not because we think it might be the best choice. It might, it, it's what they thought it was the best choice back then. I mean... And that That is the reason why they're coming that way, that's the only reason. Well, I mean, if you look at it, if you know where the bridge is, it's like, why would you... Right, you, you have to think, they... The bridges were the important part of this operation. This Operation Market Garden was all about securing the bridges. So, you know, the other objectives were secondary, but first they went for the bridges. So it looks like they just picked up that one American guy. Uh, we got some contact coming in from the, what is that, uh, northwest on the second bridge that's up north. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think the Germans are going to be able to get across. There's just too much. Like, unless they actually target their mortars in, like, specific spots, I just don't see them getting across. Um, right. Especially with machine gun fire and... No, they are going to have a hard time. And uh, Historically, even though the Germans were halted, um, they still were able to hold on to a piece of the corridor in between Bagel and Uden. Uh, which was able to disrupt the Allied supplies. Uh, that's as far as they got, but uh, we'll see. They're not even getting that far here. <laughs> the South looks weak, weak as fuck. Shooting at? What are you guys shooting at? Where were we? Infantry. Yeah, but where? I'm, I'm getting shot at somewhere from the left. We've infantry moved down the railway line, and we have infantry somewhere on the right of ridge. Alright. So they obviously know that the Germans are just across the river. Yes, and they're not anywhere close to this bridge. Let's take a dive on the German side, huh? See what's going on. Well, I can't even hear what they're saying, so I don't know. Okay, so they just set up a spawn point. Um, <clears throat> my guess is that they're going to try and get across this tiny bridge that's right here, but that's going to be uh, next to impossible. Does this guy have an MG? Yep, Yo, that's an MG. Uh, unless they have like one of those grenade launcher guys I wonder what they're trying to do here yeah as you can see the, they're very good defenses uh, very good very good defenses alright let's check down to the south it seems like that's getting bombarded again well as this was happening uh, Walther Commanders of the German attack kept attacking from the south. Uh, so we'll see if they try to reenact that. Uh, as I said, the only place where the Germans were able to halt off the Hell's Highway was between Bagel and Uden. Um, that would be on the north east side. And um, yeah, we'll see if they can get that far. There's a lot of Germans that are just crawling through the bushes right there. It's an interesting tactic, but. Um, I mean, there's not a whole lot of American troops right there, so if they can get across that, they will have, they should be able to flank better. I see, I, oh. I feel like it's it's easy to think about once when we're looking at it from above, but if, if you were a soldier and you're just told to follow orders oh, and tell oh, you to cross oh, the bridge, oh, what, what would you do? Go, 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 come on! Oh shit, he made it across! The first German to make it across! And he's probably gonna die. Oh no! Oh no way! You might have a breakthrough. Right there. Is that an EC member? I don't know. What squad is that? Let's see. Uh, WF. Oh my God, the Germans! Yes. Dude, WF is amazing. I'll be honest. They are doing the. Oh come on, he's like right there. Kill him. They are doing the Fazal. I'm proud. Kill him, dude. He's right there. Come on, come on, WF. Shoot that one guy. He's just standing there like a jack off. Oh, that's too bad. Damn, what a valiant effort by WF. These guys are smart as fuck, I'll be honest.
Yeah, I don't understand why he didn't shoot that guy though. That was right next to him forever. Uh, that would have been that guy alone. Yeah. I think to to stopped his uh, his squad's advance. Well, that got stuffed. All right, so let's see. We got more Germans that are moving up in the middle here, but up north it seems like there's a bunch of stuff that's going on. Are they making it across or are they dying? I can't tell. That's a lot of smoke. Yeah, I understand that he was healing Buffoon, but I feel like if he had an MP40, he would have been able to shoot that guy that was shooting on his teammates crossing the bridge just real quick, you know? I think that shot would have made a difference. Yeah, that, that would have been a real breakthrough right there. Right. That's too bad. Uh, here we have, uh, seems like the 7 Cav and Easy are working together to push on the north side. Uh, Seeing some smokes that are dissipating now. Uh, the tanks in the background still bombarding the point. No, looks and we'll like... see what the 7 Cav comes up with. Uh, yeah, they're shooting the shit out of... I think the tanks that are over there? The tanks that are doing absolutely nothing. Like, the tanks could literally be b shooting the shit out of this one MG that's bogging down they all their should. guys. They should. That's what they should do. They should coordinate. They should talk to their tanks. They should have them bombarding the point. We see more Panthers in the background, as you can see. We have the Jack Panthers. These are big guns. They could they can fire from far away all day. I didn't know the Germans had an AT. Alright. Kill anyone? Everybody's retreating. That was a nice strike. Oh yeah, that got at least three people. Now would be the time to push up. Oh, that got everybody. Dreamers needed. Alrighty. There's only like two Americans left in a spawn, or one American. Germans need to push up like right now. Yes, this is exactly what I was telling you about. This is what they needed to break the defenses, to break the line. We see lots of American bodies here. Uh, we'll see if the Germans take advantage of this moment. They should. Yeah, the Germans... They have to. The Germans that are down south don't seem to be faring well. See, now this is just the lack of coordination a little bit. If you see artillery taking out a whole squad, why isn't why aren't they pushing? And the Americans are basically recouping. Uh, it won't take too long for them. Everyone that is playing on this event are people that work very good in teamwork. They're very good players. Everyone's vouched for. Now these Germans right here, if they come up. Oh, there's one medic being a hero here. He's revived, he revived almost everyone that got taken out by the artillery. Yeah, that one medic basically picked up everybody. Give that man a Damn, three freaking! Wow. If only that actually... If only that actually hit something, that completely missed. Totally, yeah. I don't know where he was aiming it at. Wow. Yeah, that's too bad. Oh! Oh, for a second I thought that actually hit uh -oh. something. Oh, you see the Germans trying to cross the bridge now? Oh, where? Right. A little south of you, a little south of you. Not the main bridge, but the uh, one the that's way down the obstacles. Uh, oh. South of you. The one that's way down there? Or the tiny one? This tiny one right here. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see it. They were attempting to cross, but... Uh, Come on, just cross. South They're like right there's there. Not, there's, there's, there's nobody not there. Here. There's not a lot of defenses They need to cross this small bridge right now. Yeah, those tanks are finally firing on this... Uh, I see a whole squad of Germans piling up here. They might be able to do it. Come on, go. There is a little risky jump here, so hopefully they won't fall in the water. Uh, oh, one got across. This be the second person to actually get across. I'm not sure how it's going on down south. I feel like the Americans are trying to spread out a little bit and see if, uh, trying to figure out this where they're coming from. Uh, I, w I really want to go check out what's going on down south, but this is just too exciting. Uh, I could probably look at the map. Okay, so we got two Germans that finally got across. 
This area is undefended. It's, it's totally undefended. If they want to blow infantry from here, they can. That's two across. Oh, that was a good shot by the AT. It just missed, though, I think. Oh my god, the loudest of fucking vehicles. What the hell? Where did that come from? Wait, what? Did the Americans plant like a freaking big ass IED? Well, I guess that's not the point. They're getting across! Go, go, push! Get in there! Germans are finally breaking the lines that artillery strike from Major Dixon's to have made a huge difference on it. That was artillery? What started the first time, yeah. Uh, Remember what wiped the whole squad? These guys are doing a massive flank. If they could just oh, come around and sweep hey, in. Can you tell me who this squad is? The one that just got uh, just got in. Uh, WF, <laughs> WF shit, and w Easy Company. Bad. Very good. Those two elite companies finally made it across the bridge. It was no easy oh. feature, but they made it. There we go. Good boys. Yeah, flank around. Come on, do a fish Very hook. Very good. Do a hook. Very good. Come on! Oh man, I'm excited for the Germans. And now they're gonna be able to relieve the pressure on the north side. Oh, they just took down the AT gun! Did, did they? Oh no, they took yeah, control yeah. of it. Well, they took, they took the the person manning it. The tanks are finally pushing to the north bridge. We got Panthers next to the north bridge. They're taking a lot of the reinforcement down on the north bridge. I believe Germans are gonna be able to... That is the last American. Well. That is the last Holy American. Shit. I don't see any more. Last American up on the what is this north side? Brass Whisper, Brass Whisper is on the north side. It's the last defense, but he's not gonna be able to hold on. He's gonna, he's about to get swamped. All these defenses are about to mean nothing. Germans are across. They broke the lines. Oh man, what a push! What a push! They just don't see that one random American that's just sitting there. It doesn't matter. He won't make a difference. Set. Let's change yep. these guys to crawl back to these squad and trying to get a kill. Seven cabins across. EC companies across. West Front is across. Uh, this is it. They're, they're across. I believe this guy has a bazooka. So, I mean, he could do some damage. Oh, last American down. Well, that's it. Confirmed the whole north side. Uh, they have the, it's been taken over by the Germans right now. Oh. Uh, we see the Panthers are going to make it across. Oh, we have some retaliation coming in from the east side. A couple of a tiny squad. Uh, this game is so beautiful. I see the Panthers going across the bridge with infantry next to it, and I get, I guess, shivers too, right? Yeah, we got a couple of Americans that are coming up to meet this German force that's coming in. Uh, they actually took out a couple of Germans, at least two or three. Uh, one American down. Now the Americans are gonna have to. Pull back. They're gonna have to pull back to the main defenses and try to hold up there. This is very good, very good by the Germans. Uh, do we know anything about how the south side has been progressing, Durek? Uh, the south side looks like it's actually held. Um, yeah, the Germans didn't have too much fun up there or down there. Uh, but it looks like yeah, the Germans are just overflowing up in the north. They're like, we gotta cross, let's move, let's move! Yavul! Or how, how, how do you say yeah, it? That, that was, yeah, yeah, Yavul! <laughs> Yavul! Yavul! <laughs> they were like, My Germans, Schnell! Schnell! <laughs> My German's fucking horrible. Yeah, I know. My German's not existent. So we got Germans that are pushing into the tree line. They're about to meet American forces down in the tree line. Oh, uh, yeah, this is going to be a good uh, firefight. This is going to be a good firefight in the forest. Americans are literally oh, passing. They're, pass they're passing each other. Oh. I need to bring those tanks up here. Ooh, I don't know. The Germans need to get across and then plant like a uh, a spawn point like in that little village right there so I have to cross the damn bridge. Yeah, Germans are getting a little decimated here in this forest. It seems like the Americans have the outnumber on them, at least until they can get reinforcements up. Which we do see them, they're getting up, but the tanks are taking the north road and being safe and all of the tanks are getting across now, I believe. 
This could actually be bad if they don't meet this American force because the Americans can sweep across and cut the Germans off if they if the Germans decide to go straight north and not you know meet this American force here. This could be an issue. It could be an issue, but if they get around this American force, that means the American force is not going to be defending the main point. That's so true. this American force has to cut the reinforcements from the north because that's a lot. That's a lot of infantry. That's two tanks. I don't think just one squad of infantry can deal with that. But then again, the Germans don't exactly know where they're actually supposed to be going. They don't. They just know there are FOBs that they have to find within the city. Uh, let's see, we actually got a truck with an AT gun. Um, yeah, these tanks are all just chilling. Man, one freaking airstrike and they're all dead. So they're just gonna blitzkrieg it out? Just bypass them? Not much action actually going up in the north right there, so I guess we'll follow these Germans guys <clears throat> until they decide to die. Oh, they did. Hey, Rattle. What are your thoughts on the battle so far? Yeah. What are my thoughts? Yeah. I think, uh, I think these guys are coming from every direction possible. <laughs> yeah. Well, good luck, good sir. Thank you. Oh shit, I think the tanks were actually spotted up to the north. Yep, they were spotted. One got hit. Yeah, it looks like the Americans are beating back that force that's up uh, in that tree line. And uh, the tanks were spotted up north. We got two American bazooka guys that are coming after them. Bazookas can travel far and accurate. Mm -hmm. Are they inaccurate? No, no, I said they, they are accurate. Oh, I mean, because I know the uh, the Piat. I think. Yes, that's that's, that's what I had. In that's mind. inaccurate. I was about that, yeah, no, that's what I had in mind. Uh, bazooka is actually uh, you can shoot it from long range and it will go where you're aiming. You know, it doesn't have a uh, fall damage or not a lot of fall damage. So, oh, yeah. so again, this might be pretty bad because the Americans are pushing up and the Germans are kind of just sitting here. Um, yep, they they seem to be getting bottleneck. I don't know if they're trying to organize an attack. Um, it's it's kind of sad because uh, they did get through and now they seem to have slowed down. Uh, I think they need to use the momentum to keep the chaos going into in the American lines. Like if I if it were me, I'd be like, all right, we need to go north. Can't stay right. here because eventually they're right. just gonna come back. We have to keep moving, but like you said, it's easy for us because we see where everything is. We say it's safe, but they don't know. They they might think, hey, there might be an AT gun right around the corner. You know, we don't want to lose another tank. Yeah, that's true. They, they don't know. Oh. Said so, yes, yeah, true. See some explosions going on. I'm still a little late. Uh, we got a plane coming in, but I'm not sure who that was shooting at. Yeah, yeah so see, but, so far these airstrikes. So far, these airstrikes have been pretty bad. Um, they're not on target. Like, the most on target that I've seen was that one with the bridge. Right. 
Uh, the but... one artillery was good. The straight fronts haven't been accurate at all. No, uh, buffoons. One of the one of the members that helped plan this is uh, saying that the U.S. should just fall back because they're gonna get flanked. And I completely agree with him. That's uh, the point I was gonna bring in there. Obviously, seem to be consolidating their forces. The Germans are here on the north side for a possible organized push. Maybe they've learned a lesson of not being disorganized. But I don't know what the American squad is doing in the forest. If the Germans force get around them, they're gonna flank them really hard. And they're gonna find themselves between Germans and their point that they're supposed to defend. And that's not gonna be good. No, not at all. Um, yeah, so a lot of American forces are thinking that the Germans are just in this general area, it looks like. Right, right. And, uh, like I said, I believe what the Germans are doing, they're just consolidating their forces. They're uh, planning their attack. They're trying maybe send out scouts, see if they can find the AT guns, the emplacements. Uh, if you were a German, you'd be a little scared. You've tried to push this outside. You've got it annihilated. It, it took you a long time to take the bridges. So you want to be careful. You want to scope out where their defenses are. Uh, maybe call your commander for artillery. As we saw earlier, artillery was very effective. So the Germans could cross the bridge. So this is possibly what they're doing right now. This is what I would be doing right now. Is the only explanation I can see of why the German forces are at a halt right now. It looks like the Germans are actually moving, but they're not moving towards this town. Uh, the American, the majority of the American forces seem to still be in that tree line, whereas a couple of them have pulled back. Um, they might actually be realizing this because I see a couple of them moving backwards. A couple, but not the entire team. Uh... Will this be enough to hold back that force that's coming in from the north? Oh, we actually already have Germans that are up in the north. Let's go take a look. Is that a tank? Is that dead or is that... No, it's dead. Okay. So yeah, we got Germans that are already up here. So this is actually pretty bad for the Americans. They don't even know it's here. Actually, wait. Wait, what? I didn't know Germans could take vehicles. What? Is that always a feature? I didn't know enemies could take enemy vehicles like that. Um, I do believe... In this version, uh, they had the Germans had a couple captured Shermans that they used in the battle. Uh, maybe the Jeep right here is an instance of that, just a captured vehicle. That is my only guess right here. But uh, officially in the event, yes, they uh, there were two Shermans that the Germans had captured and were able to use against the Allies. Somebody has pinged me. 20 fucking times. Bing. <clears throat> You're a popular guy, too, right? I kind of am. And it's 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 a blessing and a fucking... Uh, how do right. they say it? It's a blessing and, and... Blessing and a curse. Yeah, a curse at the same time. Right. It's like... It's only when I sleep and I wake up and I'm like, wow, look at all these pings. Good thing I turned off the sound because that would have been awkward. Yeah. Alright, so we have a decent force that's here. <clears throat> but I'm guessing they're reoccupying the force. Uh, the. I figured they're trying to plan the defense right now. Um, all the Germans know is that they have a <laughs> fortification defended by a light, light airborne and... Uh, that's that's all they know coming in here. Yeah, um Yeah, so we got Germans that are setting up on the southeast and the north. Uh, I feel like I see the allies ally tanks coming in from the north. That would be the XX Corps. <gasps> I wanna go check the tanks, please be Shermans. I wanna see Shermans, damn it! If it was um I believe if it was accurate we'd be seeing a Sherman and a Stuart. 
that's what I believe what we try to put on there. Uh, we actually found a couple of pictures of the bridges of uh, Bagel, the ones where we just saw the battle at, and they had a picture of a Sherman and a Stewart there, so we, th we thought that was pretty cool. How do, I go um, how do I go faster? I know you can change your fly speed uh, if you press zero to bring up, so you can see the options, then press uh, one. You'll see a fly speed option, you can scroll up or down. If not, pressing shift will always make you go faster. Oh my god, it's a Sherman! And they seem to be getting ready to engage the Jack Panthers. Two Shermans. Button up, you weirdo! I will say sometimes as commander, I will stay out of the hatch until there uh -huh. are um, shots next to me. It gives you so much better vision. 360 degrees. Hello DC10 boy, welcome to the stream man if you're new. We are streaming an EC company's historically accurate event. It's the Vagel's defense. Uh, it's the events that have in Operation Market Garden. Can I see? Ooh! Did we lose a Sherman? Oh, okay. oh, I got hit. Well, then I know. I know you know. Oh, what a shot! I don't know what he killed, but he got something. Hello, second armor. Ooh. Oh, I think. Did we lose a Sherman? I think we lost a Sherman. Oh, that tank went bye bye. We still both got Sherm. We still got uh, two Shermans down the field, uh, but I think they lost two tanks of some oh, kind. Oh man, this is a very nice tank battle with, against the Jack Panther. Yeah, we lost it. two Jack Panthers. Pan I don't know how to say it. They're Jack Panthers. Jack Panthers. Yeah, the Shermans were shooting the shit out of this one, but I think this Bazooka guy came up and. Gave it a real nice. good time. Gotcha. Damn the. Well, there goes the German armor. That's um. Uh, no, there's still. That's, a, that's unfortunate there, for them. There was still a Panther, if I remember correctly. Uh, I, I just saw two destroyed uh, German armor. Wow. And I do see a U.S. soldier around there, so he seems like he was up to no good. It's not to make trouble good. in my neighborhood. All right. Stan Julio. Yes, Stan Julio is one of our lieutenants at uh, EC. Oh, look, Company. there's the Panther. He's, also, he's one of the, he's the community. We got the Panther here. Yeah, I can't see shit. I, I do have to say that right now. Oh, we lost a Sherman. Seems, seems like the Sherman is yep. pretty strong. I don't know, this Sherman has just been very accurate. Like, more accurate than the Germans. The Sherman is a very strong tank in this game. I believe even a little too strong at the moment. Oh, looks like they lost their commander. And there goes that idea. Yeah, I don't think the Sherman should be able to penetrate the front. But that's just me. No, yeah, I I agree. And uh, oh man. I mean, I love I love the Sherman, but that, that doesn't no, make I sense. I agree. Yeah, no, that gun should not penetrate front armor like that. Uh, if you've ever fought a Sherman against a Tiger, it's the same. It's like it's so easy to take out a Tiger with a Sherman on this. So they should tweak out the numbers a little bit, in my opinion, direct. So I think. I think the Germans are getting stuffed. Uh, yeah, the Germans are kind of getting stuffed over here because they just took too long to stay over on that uh, that east side. This is like the only German force that's like right here, I believe. Uh, this is. This they are getting. They are getting closer though. They are getting. Very close to the FOBs. Uh, if you see on the east side, there's a German force that's not too far from it. 
So we got a panther that's sitting right here. For whatever it was worth, all this commotion on the north side, it's helped uh, distract the attention of the Americans to where some squads who were watching the oh. tank battles have, have been able to sneak in a little bit. This is actually a good spot for this panther. But it seems like he's hitting... Well, he was actually better in that defilade. But now he's like backing up and he's showing himself. That was actually a pretty good shot by the Sherman. That one fucking flank. How the infantry doing? Pretty bad, actually. There's only like a couple of them left. Oh, so that attack wasn't successful. That attack that can that went on during the bridge that was really good, but this one they're uh, they've gotten close. So I'll, I'll give them that. They've gotten closer than they've been. They kind of have the allies if they're able to keep reinforcing these positions. They are closing the men, if nothing else. They are uh, closing their operation, their uh, base of operation. Oh, what's that? Is that another tank? What was that? Is that a truck? Those look like Americans. I can't tell. There goes the tank. Let's see, that Panther tank is still there, but... Uh, he's really low on health. Like, he needs to back off and find some kind of repair station. Which I don't even know if they have in this game. Uh, Mom found the comrade. Uh, let's see. Oh, it seems as if people are getting shot. Right here? I just realized you never changed your title. Still, easy event for a bunch of assholes. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's, there's fire going on here. Is there enemies? Oh, there's one enemy right there. Oh, if he can actually... If he could somehow destroy... And dead. And dead. Yeah, he's dead. Right, never mind. I was gonna be like, if he could somehow destroy this spawn point, then they wouldn't need to come over here. I would've been like, pro. Yeah, no. Oh, something! Destroyed, uh, something died they, over here. I don't know what. They can't, they can't rebuild it. So they only have the one. Um, how much time is left, uh, Uh, thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Oh, uh, looks like the Panther went down. What's going on? Okay, so it actually looks like the infantry is moving in from the north side. It's exposed. Exposed the Americans here. Um, that one guy, he should have pinpointed where the, uh, spawn point actually is. If they take out the spawn point, then they won't need to worry about coming through all this shit that's right here. Oh, I wonder if, I wonder oh if the, is that coming uh, from it? German, I wonder if the German that, uh, oh. was killed there was able to spot the FOB so they could call something on it. That would be huge. Uh, did that kill anything? No? I didn't do anything. Did they just throw that on defenses? That's it? Man. Yeah, I told you, dude. They've been pretty frickin' horrible. Wait, maybe the there was an AT role. gun there. I'm not sure. I don't know. Was there? I don't see. I think I see something on fire there. Yeah, I think there was an AT gun where uh, they threw this Tuka. That might have been the reason. Oh, okay. Alright, kudos. Kudos. Is that the right word? I don't know. Yeah, could be used. Kudos, but uh, two blocks behind that, there was an actual FOB. If they could have they could have somehow seen that FOB, it would have been really good for Germans. Uh, now, if uh, at least they took an AT gun out, though. Yeah, maybe he didn't. Oh, oh there's a second one. I don't know where it's coming from though. 
Might be on the FOB. Oh, it got it. Did it get it? Uh oh, it really hurt it though. They're gonna fix it right now. They just missed it. They just missed it. Damn. Yep, didn't get it. Damn Wait. no. But it did. What's well, like, that? It kind of did, but. The Germans need to push in like right now, cause this guy just killed over and he didn't actually build it back up. Well, I don't know that they're allowed to build it back up. No, th I think they can, right? Well, once that's uh, the objective is destroying them, and once it's destroyed, I don't think they're gonna be able to build it back up. We'll, we'll see. I don't know, but I believe those were the rules. I might be confused on what's happening right now. But... I mean, I built it back up. For... Sorry. Right, right, but I figure maybe they're a bit confused, like, if it's not this world away, because I Come think on, German Stuka just took out the radio. Yeah, look. Look, yeah, he's, he's building, building it. it back up. Is yeah. it? Yeah, he's, he's building it. Maybe they have to completely destroy oh, come it. come on. Yeah. Come on, Germans. Oh, but the uh, Germans are here already. He just built it up. Yeah, we won't be there for too long, though. The Germans are already here, and they know where it's at. They know where to attack. Oh, we got a Sherman. They steal a Sherman? What? That's interesting. Yeah, as I was telling you, uh, the Germans hold two captured Shermans that they are going to use against the Allies. Alright, so let's see. They're going to place down a bomb? Right, I thought they weren't allowed to reveal their right buffoons. Yeah, Buffoon just confirmed he's another one of the planners. And uh, I had that in mind. Once it was destroyed, you couldn't build it back up. But uh, I think it will be destroyed. Oh, soon enough. and there it goes. Well, that's one down. The next one that they need to get is over to the west side. And it looks like Squad 1 is actually pushing in. Uh, well, we got a shrimp. It started the wrong way, but it seems like the Germans are definitely making some good progress here. Uh, only one FOB left. This is going to be really hard for the Americans. They're going to have to consolidate their defenses. Oh, and it was Easy Company that actually got rid of that. FOB? Of course. Of course it was Easy Company. Easy Company with the with the big clutch right there. Curry. We also have Easy Company and 7 Cap coming in on the other objective. Looks like there's a lot of Americans that are retreating, which they should not be retreating. They should be sticking right here because this is their last spawn point. Literally, all they need, all the Germans need to do is bring that Sherman tank over here. And just bum blast the living hell out of the freaking spawn point, which I don't even know what uh, it is. Yes, the the Americans are on a oh, there it is. tough situation right now. They're a little disorganized. Uh, the main defenses around the outskirts don't matter anymore. Some of their AT guns have taken out and don't matter anymore because they're too far. Uh, it's going to be a close quarter combat battle for the remaining of the match. And... Uh, some people say the Americans have the upper hand in that, having M1 parents. Well, I look at it like, they destroyed the one that was, like, really where the close quarter combat was going to be. This one right here is a little more open, but... A little, a little, but have you played this part of the map in Vagal? It gets, it gets pretty, pretty close quarter combat as well. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, I remember this point perfectly. Every time I play Bagel, man, it's it's insane. What the hell shooting? They have tanks over here. Do they have a? What do they have? About twenty-five minutes on the clock. Uh, on the clock they have thirty. Still thirty. Oh, still thirty? Yeah, they have a lot of time. Uh, the Americans really need to buckle down here, but they're like nowhere near the objective. They need to fall back and defend this, because it's pretty exposed. Man, they're quite far. They're quite far from the objective. 
Mm, I do worry for the Americans a little bit. It seems like the Germans uh, got the momentum ever since that artillery strike and the cross, the cross the bridge. Uh, everything seems to be going right for them right now. Oh. See some wheelie Peter fall down. Looks like the Germans just lost the Sherman. Oh no. I'm just going crazy. I thought I saw some blood though. I think the driver had his head out. I, uh, the Germans were really, really struggling at first, but as uh, you've seen, uh, really, they're really organizing. We're able to get a good attack going, and right now it's the Americans that are on the fence. I believe uh, we don't even want to be in some stuff. We don't have a hard time doing this. I don't know what the hell they're shooting at, but alright. Oh, we got an American tank versus a Sher uh, Sherman and an American tank fighting each other. That's an interesting duel. It's like that one Spider-Man meme where they're fighting at each other. It looks like the German Sherman tank might w might lose. Yeah, it's pretty heavily bad. Oh, oh no, it's getting stuck on the AT. Oh, it got stuck on the AT and it's down. Damn. And now this Sherman tank is covering the road. It's going to have a tough time. The Germans are going to have a tough time trying to come down this road if the Sherman stays here. That was indeed bad luck for that Sherman. If that AT gun hadn't been there, he would have been able to get away, I believe. He was doing a very good job in supporting his forces. Good job, Sherman. Is that Seether? Oh, that Sherman should not be pushing up. That Sherman's gonna expose itself. See, this doesn't make sense to me. Like, the Americans don't need to push up. Is that a friendly tank? No, oh, it's enemy. Uh, so, two American tanks. Uh. I'm guessing they can't get any healing. But they're pushing through town, even though they really don't need to be. Like, they need to be defending this objective that's right here. This is their last spawning point. If this goes, that's it. That's game. If, if this goes, that's it. That's game. But, of course, the Germans don't actually know where it is, so, I mean... No, um... I mean, I guess it's a good tactic because you're leading the enemy away, but... The Germans still have around 25 minutes, so that's a lot of time. That is a long time. They can still make a lot of things happen. It would have to be a fierce defense by the Americans. Um, do the allies only have one Sherman left, do a rag? Uh, I saw a second one. Oh, yep, yep. The One of the American tanks just died. On this side of the town.
So it seems to have gotten relatively quiet at this point. Um, the Germans seem to have been stuffed, it's, it looks like. Yeah, it does seem like it is really hard to advance through these, through these streets and uh, most of these people know what they're doing. They know how to spread out and they know where to look for. So yeah, it's going to be a hard push, but they, like you said, they still have a long time to make something happen. It does seem to have slowed down a bit. Yeah, it looks like there's actually more Germans than there are Americans, at least from what I can tell. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of people defending this objective. They are also coming all from one side, so it's going to be easy for the Americans to just shoot fire in that direction. So unless they do a flank... Well, it looks like we have Germans that are flanking to the south of the river that's right there um let's see if i could looks like we got germans that are flanking right here they're gonna come around and d maybe do some damage roger that would be the idea um thinking they might be like earlier they might be consolidating their forces they might be organizing everybody might be getting in position to push at the same time and that way they can shift the enemy's attention and, uh, Hopefully push into the point and find this FOB. And they're gonna run into a bunch of Americans. Ooh, we got him. Oh, and that's actually a spawn point. If they get rid of that. Come on. They're like right frickin' there. Oh, that's one shot. He's dead. Does he see this guy? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking. Yeah, this guy is just mowing them down. There goes the entire squad that was right here. Now they're all going to have to spawn back at uh, the actual thing. Very good push here from the south. Who is this squad? Let's see. We got 7 Cav. 7 Cav. Very good flank by the 7 Cav. Uh, taking the south side. Taking the whole infantry squad out and their rally point it's gonna be very inconvenient for the Americans yeah it looks like WF and easy like they're doing like a kind of like a clenching like they're flanking around both sides right right that is what they should do that is a very good idea they uh, if they keep coming from the same direction it's gonna very it's gonna be very easy to shift fire in one direction they will never get through but if the Americans have to defend in two fronts then somebody is gonna be able to get in there the bigger the, or the biggest defenses oh. were built around the outskirts, so whatever is left in town, it's not going to be much of a defense at all. You're going to get a few bunkers, you're going to get uh, sandbags, but as, as it is oh. close quarter combat, it's going to be harder to take advantage of it. Could this be the man to actually beat him? Could this man do it? You see a sapper? Can he do it? Oh, he's going to do it! Oh my god, who is he? What's his name? Uh, it's Imic Ingrinch. Holy shit. He's doing it. He's doing it. I just saw, I just saw him put the TNT down. Is that it? Uh, and it's game. Holy shit! That man is that a is hero. game. That man is a hero. The West Front Clan coming through in this event enormously. They are a very well put together squad. I'm impressed, Durek. I'm impressed.